Hi Virgo, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading, so let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you, and as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one personal reading at the end of the month, one free personal reading at the end of the month to one subscriber. So if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is stay tuned to the end of this video and I will announce the mechanics. Alright, so I hope you win, Virgo. Virgo, very much in your energy this uh, in this reading. The Hermit, all right. The Moon. The Sun. <gasps> all right. You have the... I was hoping for a star. I was really feeling that a star would show up. Like, things are aligning for you. I'm, I'm getting that, actually. Uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Six of um, Pentacles, and then the, the Six of Swords. So you could be seeing a lot of Sixes lately. It means, well, very much means there's fate that changes happening in your life. You have like three major arcanas here, so definitely there are a lot of changes. A lot of changes. And really good ones. Okay? Your overall energy for this reading is the Hermit card. So, very much in your energy. Um, this is you going through the dark night of the soul. A lot of reflection. A lot of soul searching. You close yourself. I'm sorry. Let me say that again. <clears throat> You've closed yourself out from the world out from your social life i'm getting you're really needing time alone you're really needing time alone um you're really searching for answers within you what i'm getting here is so this is not going to resonate for everyone so what i'm getting here is should i just be single for the meantime should i just be single for the meantime um what are the things that i need to work on myself should i work on myself i'm getting that i'm getting that a lot so that's why you're going through your dark night of the soul you're really reflecting during this time all right you have the moon card to the eight of cups i'm getting this is why you were forced to go into hermit mode something illuminated in the uh in the last eight months eight weeks eight days i'm getting a lot of eights all right something illuminated during the past eight days eight months eight weeks a lot a lot of clarity coming towards you and i'm getting you actually walked away from a situation that no longer served you but but you're still very hurt by this and by hurt i mean you still fear cycles repeating you still fear cycles repeating you did walk away and i am uh, i really commend you for that virgo but you fear that cycles would repeat it means there is something that happened in that relationship that you haven't really healed from So if you don't heal, even if you walked away, if you don't heal fully, it's just going to happen again. And I do think you know that. I do think you know that. I'm getting the sun coming towards you. A lot of warmth, a lot of happiness, a lot of expansion coming towards you. A lot of balance. 
But the thing there is, for you to achieve this, you have to really address whatever happened in the past. May it be ancestral wounding, may it be family wounding, family issues, issues within yourself, how you treat yourself, how you, you see yourself. Remember, we are uh, the, how we treat others is a reflection of ourselves. All right, so how we treat ourselves. The only way to achieve pure happiness and balance is to reflect. How, how are we going to achieve that balance? How are you going to, be, to achieve that joy, that bliss, that happiness? Is going through hermit mode. Why do cycles keep on repeating? Why am I so hurt? Even when I walked away, why do I fear things happening again? It's time for you to be in your mode, in hermit mode, all right? Before you achieve all that happiness. I'm getting you're going to be feeling that you need to be a little bit more single or you need to be single for the next six to nine months. You're going to be a lot more self-sufficient um, independent, very attractive at this time, but this is you moving to calmer shores. This is you going through fated changes. The Six of Swords is a fated change. Movement forward, fated change. This is you moving into calmer shores you're finally going through hermit mode you finally achieve some sort of balance and happiness and calmness all right for some reason it doesn't feel like a love reading so because there it's talking a lot about uh being single being single let's see what is the overall outcome maybe after a period of you know um concentrating on yourself all right you have the tower You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Death card, and then the Tower. All right. Okay. So there are fated changes happening towards you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. But I'm hearing that once you, once you achieve that Dark Knight of the Soul, the, the purpose of reflecting, of going through that Dark Knight of the Soul, of being single of healing from whatever happened in the past you're going to be ready you're going to be ready all right the queen of pentacles is a grounded energy someone who is about the home so very motherly other than the, the empress this is someone the other motherly uh queen in the deck this is someone who's very abundant this is someone who knows very much that they don't need to find love this is someone who knows that love comes to them love finds them love chases them that's actually very attractive that's actually very attractive all right you're transforming you are transforming and i'm getting love will come in as a very big surprise for you but you have to go through that dark night of the soul What is the advice for you? We'll get the ones that flipped. All right. Again, we'll get the ones that flipped. Okay. So Virgo, your overall energy, I mean, no, this is the advice. The advice for you is the 
These are all pentacles. <laughs> the advice for you is the three of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and then the seven of pentacles. So number one, concentrate on your work, concentrate on your money, concentrate on your financial stability for you to achieve that nine of um the nine of pentacles um financial stability queen of pentacles financial stability stability security you have to concentrate on your work these are all pentacles it's about work it's about money all right other than that spirit is telling you that it's okay go ahead and wait go ahead and wait for love because spirit will bring you the right person to you You have the two of pentacles so learn to have fun learn to have fun learn to be playful and then you have the three of pentacles build solid foundations with people who want to come towards you it's all about solid foundations it's all about the foundations all right that's how you know you have a good relationship because of the foundations that you've built all right Mm-hmm. It's a good reading. You have embracing. Embracing change. Embracing who you really are. Embracing that new you. Embracing that new you. So I hope something in this reading resonated, Virgo. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Write in the comment section down below how it resonated for you. And if you are um, interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is, number one, be subscribed to my channel. And number two, write in the comment section down below, what is meant for me will never pass me by. What is meant for me will never pass me by. It's a way of you telling yourself that what is meant for you will always be for you. All right? You don't need to chase it. You don't need to look for it. You don't need to um, hold on so dearly to it. Because what is meant for you will always be for you. And I think you're going to understand that. So that is all I have for you, Virgo. I hope something in this reading resonated. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.